Soils are living systems, and as living systems, they change, uh, adapt, and evolve to the different conditions uh, that the climate and that human beings uh, might be giving to them. Since the Industrial Revolution, we've, as human beings, we've started to use the land according to our needs and what we need it for. We also are owners of our land and we decide what goes in and what comes out of that. So for agricultural systems, this is very, very important. If we are misusing or excessively giving chemicals to our crops, we are creating a dependence of these crops to those nutrients, but at the same time, we are altering the natural ecosystem that the soil has. Um, do we know what the effects will be in the next few years? We're not very sure, but we do know that soil fertility is declining at astounding rates each year. I work as a postdoctoral researcher for the Grow Columbia project, and we have projects specifically with Columbia. One, some of them are with sugarcane. Uh, we have another project with coffee and uh, one other project with grasses. So we know that these specific crops have specific needs and that agricultural practices to, to produce the yields that they need are very specific and in some cases have been used by these uh, farmers for many, many, many years. So we're trying to change and look into how they have been using each one of these chemicals, fertilizers, and in some, in some cases, compost, and how this affects the soil, uh, specifically microbial diversity and functional diversity that will help us understand the impacts of these agricultural practices. If our soils start losing fertility and start going sterile, we will not be able to get to these yields that we need. And if we cannot promise the, the yields that we need of certain foods, then we cannot promise a sustainable future.